Good morning. Welcome to our midweek devotional, again coming from All God's Creatures, published by Guideposts. Our author for today is Tracy Crump, and the scripture they have chosen is 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. The title of their devotion is Piggy Heaven, and they write, I love to freeze a batch of homemade peppermint ice cream on a hot summer day. My recipe calls for a whole milk and heavy whipping cream, making it rich and velvety smooth. But it's the minty taste that makes it pop. However, as much as I enjoy the flavor, I don't like peppermints half as much as Chester did. Chester's home was on the farm, an animal display at our local zoo. A Vietnamese pot-bellied pig, he was a good-natured animal with an unusual weakness, peppermints. Whenever keepers gave Chester one of the candies, he would crunch it immediately and then stand motionless for 10 minutes, sucking air in and out of his mouth, his eyes closed in little piggy bliss. I never learned how he came by his first sample of peppermint, but it was obvious that he thought he'd been transported to piggy heaven whenever he ate one. I love a lot of things in this life. Grandchildren climb to the top of the list, along with the peppermint ice cream. But none compare to the joy I'll find waiting for me in heaven. The Bible describes a city with streets of gold, gates made of pearl, and walls garnished with brilliant jewels. But those things will pale in comparison to dwelling with Jesus, the one who gave his life for me. Worship will take on a whole new meaning. I can hardly imagine spending eternity walking alongside my Lord, talking about the day and what he has planned for me to do. That will be true bliss. And just maybe, we'll eat some peppermint ice cream together and think of Chester. And they close with a quote from the hymn well known by E.E. E. Hewitt. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Amen. Thanks for joining me. I hope you'll join me again next week and also join us for our worship service on Sunday morning at 11, either on YouTube or in person. Have a great week.